mayoral candidate Anna Bailao is making a housing announcement. Let's listen in live. I'm focused on making life easier and more affordable for residents everywhere in every part of our city. Yes. Any candidate. Any candidate who tells you they will be able to make housing more affordable without other governments isn't being honest. We need a mayor who will be able to work with other governments and who will always stand up for our city no matter what. I've done it before, fighting to protect TCHC homes, and I will do it again as your mayor. With that, I'm happy to take any questions. First, yeah, Anna. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Lau, I have two questions for you, Ground Tech Service from CBC. Um, first question is, uh, how do you feel that you did in the debate? I feel like I presented the choice that Torontonians have. They can elect somebody that will allow Doug Ford to be the premier and uh, the mayor of this city or have somebody that is going to be the official opposition, or they can vote for me, somebody that has the experience, the track record that brings people to the table, that has a plan to fix services, to build homes, and to make easier li uh, life easier and more affordable. Do you think that you can close the gap with Olivia Chow? I think on uh, June 26th, we, have a, we will have a wonderful victory party, and I'm looking forward to walk. I'm looking forward to walk into City Hall bright and early on June 27th with uh, my uh, sleeves rolled up and ready to do the job because I know how to. Third and last question. Um, what are your plans for the cycling infrastructure in the city? It's been... Uh, Sorry, this is from the reporters just sent this to me. Um, uh, it's been reported this month, cyclists want more uh, protected bike lanes while some other candidates say they should be torn up. What will you do, Ms. Black? You know what? We need some pragmatism and common sense, uh, especially around uh, cycling infrastructure. We have a growing city and people move around the city in different ways, in TTC, in cars, in cycling and walking. And I want to make sure that we have uh, a cycling network that if you choose to cycle that it's safe. We can't have bike lanes in all major streets. It's true. In my own community, we needed a north-south route and uh, there was pressure to have it on Dufferin Street. That's a major bus route. We couldn't have it. We had to put it on one of the residential streets. We need that balance, absolutely. We need to involve the communities in this consultation. We need to stop this us versus them. We need a network. We can't have bike lanes that lead nowhere. We need a network that allows people to choose cycling as a safety way to move around in our city. Thank you. Thank you so much.